So for instance, if you put a, a poker in the, uh, in the uh, fire, the campfire, if you make it red hot and hold it up, you see the red color. It's radiating red, but it's also radiating, radiating infrared. But as it cools down, right, as it cools down, then you don't see as much of the red color, but it's still hot. So in an infrared camera, we're still going to see some infrared light there, even though the visible isn't radiating as much because the infrared photons are, are not being able to be detected by your eye. All of this energy, all of it, is coming from atoms and the electrons going up and down in their orbits. And when the electrons fall back into an orbit, they radiate a photon away. So even if it's not visible to you, the infrared radiation is coming because Electrons can fall in orbits and emit an infrared photon in the wavelength range that we've outlined here, just beyond, uh, just beyond the um, the 700 nanometer range. Those would be the infrared photons. So it, even if the, the poker is not emitting visible light, which would be higher energy, it can still be radiating infrared light. So that's why we associate infrared with heat. It doesn't mean that infrared is like a, a heat ray or a different kind of ray or something different. It's still an electromagnetic wave, just like light, just like ultraviolet, just like radio waves, just like microwaves, just like gamma rays. You see, I can go on and on, just like Wi-Fi, right? It's still a photon of electromagnetic radiation. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.